Hey, hi everyone. What naming conventions you have to follow when creating a project in uh, Git? So, assuming I'm logging with the typical user, so if I want to create a new project, I will click on the new project. So, for this user four, with this, which is my username, I would want to create one, two, three, four, five, six uh, um, hackathon. Let's say Eureka server. So now wherein in one, two, three, four, five, six is the associate ID. That is if I, if I am the person who is creating this project, then one, two, three, four, five, six is my associate ID. This is the name of the project. And this is uh, anyways, like anything you would want to it. I'm going to create a Eureka server in that way. And you would want to keep it public. In the same way, you can also go ahead and uh, kind of uh, go ahead and create a new project if you want. Let's say new project. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hackathon. Gateway. One, two, three, four, five, six. HSEK. Now this one two three four five six and hackathon is important. Here comes your associate ID and hackathon is very important. Your project should always your project name should always have one hackathon, right? Hackathon and what is it? Microservice one. So this is going to be the microservice. Say public. So in this way you can create more microservices as well. Uh, on how to work with multiple users in the project that is what I have explained in the next video. So this video is only about uh, creating the project and following the project naming convention. The only thing I would recommend that you keep in mind is that uh, you have here you have your associate ID then hackathon then whatever be the rest API or microservice or Eureka or Google proxy whatever you are trying to create or microservice one microservice to whatever it is. Uh, that is what will come over here but i mean this is mandatory so please follow along good luck have a great time ahead and enjoy the enjoy the code <laughs> yeah, good